Hi everyone. Today I am going to take uh, on a topic uh, conversion of CAT file to STL file and STL file generation. Uh, before going through the topic, I would like to introduce myself. I am Dinesh and uh, I am from Tech CAT CAM. And uh, the basic definition of STL is a standard file type used by most or all rapid prototyping systems and the parameters used for outputting a STL will affect how much facetting occurs. Normally while doing is STL conversion, this facet will form. The facet is nothing but the diamond which has the cut over the surface. Um, if it has more facets when conversion, this may affect the smoothness of, smoothness of the surface. So you cannot build the model any better or smoother than the STL file. So STL file is far better than the other file formats. So we are using STL file here. So if the STL file is coarse and faceted, that is what you can expect in the final model. So these are the parameters that affect the faceting of the STL. And uh, you don't necessarily want to go too small. The finer the STL, the larger the file is in size, which will affect processing time in site as well as build time. Below in uh, below is some information found on the internet uh, regarding exporting to STL uh, uh, from various CAT packages. So I have mentioned some four um, things uh, how to convert uh, the file from CAT to STL. Uh, so these are the initial steps to be followed uh, before uh, conversion. So first thing is to see whether the errors is there in the machine before uh, doing STL for conversion. Uh, an STL object must define a complete and closed surface. Use a STL check modifier to test your geometry before exporting your uh, uh, object to STL. So select an object, uh, click modify, select STL check under uh, object space modifier, select check. If there are no errors, continue to export the STL file by clicking file to unexport. Select stereo litho, that is dot STL in save as type. Select location in, uh, in save in, uh, enter a name in uh, file name and click save, then give ok. Then export to STL dialog, o object name, enter a name for the object you want to save in STL format, B then binary or ASCII. ASCII is nothing but the American standard code initiation uh, institution where, which, uh, where they follow the standard uh, coding techniques uh, and, uh, and it is also a human uh, readability file and uh, choose whether the STL output file will be a binary or ASCII uh, data. So binary has only two digits but AS ASCII controls over the 16 digit uh, file format and it can be easily readable uh, and it, ca it can also be easily accessible also. So ASCII STL files are uh, much larger than the binary STL file selected only and uh, exports only object that you selected in the 3D studio scene. So these are the initial steps before conversion. Uh, from the CAT file. So softwares can be used to for convert the CAT file to STL is uh, Alibri, uh, AutoCAD, DataCAD, ProE, ProE Wildfire, is solid work likewise as I mentioned in the PPT it is of uh, this much of types and also the step by step uh, process for converting CAT file to STL file uh, for every software uh, uh, cannot be mentioned over here I have mentioned in my reports uh, in PPT I have mentioned four uh, basic uh, conversion from these uh, softwares. So in Alibre go to file, export, then save as. Uh, in that uh, give the file format as STL and enter the file name and give save. That's it. Uh, you, are, uh, you are now to go uh, with the STL thing. Now uh, AutoCAD if you take uh, click output, uh, send panel, export, at the command prompt uh, enter uh, export. In the export data dialog box, enter a file name. Under file of types, select lithograph, that is .stl as I said before, then click save. Select one or more solid object. Uh, all object must be entirely within the positive XYZ octant of the world coordinate systems. Because uh, if it is there in the negative XYZ coordinate, we need to consider all the six coordinate systems. So if you consider only the positive coordinates, we need to consider only the three coordinate systems. This may reduce the file size also. The, that is, the uh, x, y and z coordinate must be greater than 0. The file extension .stl is automatically appended to the file name. Now when you go to ProE, uh, file export and model or file uh, give save a copy, set type, uh, set type to STL. And I forgot to say is uh, the thing is uh, why we need to give here a save a copy is that 
um, while converting to STL format, uh, uh, sometimes it may be converted properly or it may be uh, hanged over because the file size is too much larger uh, when compared to the binary thing. So uh, it is better to save it as a copy. Uh, set uh, cot uh, height to zero. The fire, the field uh, will be replaced by minimum acceptable value. Set angle control to one. Choose file name, then give OK. This is all about proe thing. And if you go for the sol solid works, uh, go to file save as. Set save as type to STL. Then option resolution fine. Uh, you want the resolution to be fine. If you are, if you have the space in your memory uh, very high it is better to give a fine uh, resolution if you have the memory in a meager manner you better give in a coast thing then give save then STL generation in this section an introduction on STL file I'm going to discuss all about and how to make a good STL file how to make STL on different softwares like SOLIDWORKS, PTC, Creo and Rhinos Res 5, Autodesk Inventor then summary I'm going to discuss all about. and this is the orientation of the facet this facet has to be considered more probably while you are considered only the size. If you if you don't consider all about the size, then no need of considering the facet. You you will be giving more than uh, fine facet uh, as you desire because facet may um, impact more on surface of the curve while converting. So how to make a good STL file? Uh, now I'm going to say about that uh, because the parameters of this good STL file are more. Uh, so these are the basic seven parameters which are going to be which I'm going to discuss all about is angle deviation and uh, code height, surfaces, wall thickness, uh, normal, multiple shells or nested parts, edges, tapped areas. So these are the main five uh, main seven parameters which which are to be considered uh, to create a good STL file so in this diagram it has been clearly shown that STL uh, triangle STL is nothing but tessellated uh, tessellated triangles where the triangles are joined in a particular manner this is the tessellated surface shown here and the uh, caudal tolerance this caudal tolerance also includes the caudal height and angle deviation from the surface so when we go, when we take on the parameter of angle deviation and code cord height, when exporting to STL, if the part is rougher or smoother than expected, it is possible to change the angle deviation and cord height to create the right surface finish. So after creating the STL file, also you can you have the option of uh, changing the cord height so that your uh, surface will be smoother than before. So as said before, uh, an excessive uh, faceting is not synonymous of good quality, and it is of crucial importance that the machine resolution is taken into account when doing this operation. So this is all about the uh, angle deviation and cord height. So there is an option of uh, changing the angle deviation and cord height when, when your uh, surface is not smoother as you expect. So when you go to surfaces, make sure that uh, in the CAD geometry the, there are no, the, there is there is no any missing surfaces or holes of any kind. Uh, the solid geometry has to be watertight uh, when exported because uh, if there is any um, a space in between these two tessellated triangles, it may not be generating the STL file. So some of the 3D modeling software such as Inverter, SolidWorks, and PTC Creo produces good solid geometry consistently because it doesn't allow any space between the two consecutive triangles. Some other uh, softwares based on surfaces modeling such as Rhino needs to be used with more attention because it may allow some spaces between each tessellated triangle. Therefore, the modeling should be done with an eye of respect for naked edges especially. So norm, uh, this is all about surfaces and when we go to normals, normals is nothing but the line coming from the triangle. Uh, as I shown before, this is the normal coming from out the, outside the triangle and uh, the triangle faceting of the surfaces is described al also by normal. The normals are or the indicators of the direction of the object and uh, to verify this condition is necessary to scan the STL file with the software that will automatically detect the error and eventually correct it. This is the thing we have to follow here and uh, now I am going to discuss on about uh, exporting. How to export a CAD design into an STL file then uh, this STL file has to be carried over to the 3D printed object. Um, then when starting modeling uh, 
Note that the orientation of the building platform is, is the XY plane corresponding to the front plane in SOLIDWORKS. In SOLIDWORKS particularly, this has to be considered because XY plane if you consider this is a universal thing uh, where uh, you can f import the file, uh, import the STL file after conversion, after conversion to the 3D printer objects. And uh, always check merge results on the left side bar in, uh, is enabled when doing new features. If this option is disabled, the new feature created will be new bodies in the part. Before exporting to STL, there, will, there should be only one body in the file. So these are the main three steps which has to be followed. Uh, 3D CAD design. From 3D CAD design, I am going to uh, um, convert it into STL file which is nothing but surface tessellation language. Then it is going to be convert, uh, it is going to be transformed to the 3D printed uh, object. Then step one is all about after the part is designed, it is now possible to process with the exportation of the file to the STL file. However, we suggest to also save a copy on the original file format of the software in case you have to modify a part later. Uh, likewise, if you go like file savers and just select STL then options. This is the step two which I'm going to follow. In save as button, you need to select STL dot STL format so that it could save as STL file. Finally, before proceeding with the saving operation, it is recommended to check the option panel first. In the dialog box, make sure that the op uh, output is set on binary and the scale is mil uh, in millimeters or just the same scale used to create the model. Finally, the summary. Uh, STL is the standard file format used in 3D printing. As I said before, even if it may fetch this uh, memory, memory uh, it gives the human readability more easier than other things. Binary uh, has the language of uh, computer and uh, it cannot be readable by the human. When modeling, make sure that the part does not exceed the overall printing dimensions of the machines. Always make sure that the units used for modeling are the same used for the exporting. This is the critical especially in Kinvert. This is the critical especially in Kinvert. So Mac users on SOLIDWORKS set the output on ASCII instead of binary otherwise Cura will fail slicing. So slicing also a major criteria which has to be considered before, exp uh, before converting into a STL file. This is all about the conversion of STL file and STL file generation. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.